My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Got a pretty special car right here. It is a 1967 Dodge Coronet RT 440 Magnum motor. What's special about this one, 26,000 actual miles survivors, original paint, original body, original miles. It's had four owners total and they all know each other since high school. Since the car was new, they know each other. And it has the window sticker, it has the build sheet, the original fender tag, even the Serta card, uh, the glove box pouch. And the third owner recently passed away he had this car since the late 90s and it's been parked. He was a collector and it just sat. So he passed away. The fourth owner, which is a friend of, of all these people that owned it, uh, spent over $10,000, actually closer to $11,000 servicing the car. So it's an original survivor that's serviced and ready to go. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. That's where you find the prices on all 200 of the collector cars that we offer for sale, volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this fourth owner uh, is a car collector. I've been doing some business with him for years. And uh, because he's a car collector and he is a lifelong friend of this uh, gentleman that owned it that passed away, uh, he bought a few cars out of the collection and brought them up to what you see here. Uh, I seen a picture because the cars were uh, shown to me before they were pulled out of storage and this was just covered in dust. It was a nice dry concrete floor, nice uh, building, but they were just parked there. So it looks beautiful and it runs like a new car. Uh, underneath the car is original, so it's not uh, painted or made to look glossy. It's all original. On the window sticker, this car did come with undercoat, so it has a uh, factory undercoat. Uh, but you can still see all the factory pinch welds, the seams, the frame rails, the floors. Rock solid, dry clean metal underneath there. He did put on a correct dual exhaust system with turned down tips. Uh, just like the factory exhaust would have been, no flow masters, nothing like that. Uh, the fuel tank is new, sitting, the gas got old in there, uh, so the tank, the sending unit are replaced. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's not caked in grease, but it, again, the oil pan has never been repainted, but it's not old and greasy. Uh, the original starter was sent out, rebuilt, and put back in. It has a 727 Torque Flight Automatic. A lot of money was spent on the brakes. The entire brake system uh, was completely redone. The drums, the shoes, the lines, the wheel cylinders, uh, that's all been redone. The e-brake is hooked up uh, and working and adjusted. Uh, so a lot of money spent on the brakes. Uh, the front end components, shocks, all that stuff is, was looked at and inspected and found to be in good uh, condition the way it was. So I'm always leery when someone says original paint, uh, especially when they look as good as this one does. Now, here in person, there are some little nicks and chips you'll find here and there, but it shows really well. I almost want to prove them wrong and how smart I am and show, oh no, this has been painted, there's a tape line or this or that. I couldn't find any on this car. I looked everywhere, all the nooks and crannies, uh, no overspray, no tape lines on anything. Uh, actually, I think this one piece right here was repainted. There's a little blue on the black gasket there and the color is slightly different. So that was painted. Uh, the body is all original, obviously, and it is straight. There's zero rust, zero damage, not even door dings, no bubbles, no blisters. All the gaps are right on the money. And it shuts like a brand new car. Uh, here's a couple of the nicks I talked about. There's a couple here, one there it's touched up, a little one there. That seems to be the worst of it. And there's a couple right here, small ones. 
Um, <clears throat> so the body is pristine, all the gaps, both sides, all around is clean, no, no rust, no damage, the roof is straight, uh, the paint's glossy, they had it all professionally detailed. And I don't know if you noticed this black stripe, I've never seen one before, but this is a painted on stripe and it's on the window sticker, so that's a factory stripe. The bumpers are real shiny. I think there's a mild abrasions on them here and there, but the grill is excellent. It's really nice, original antennas, shining. All the stainless moldings are straight and shiny. All the original glass is crystal clear. Vent window frame is not pitted. Door handles are beautiful. Has a remote mirror on the other side. That was an option uh, and it's pristine. And here's the RT emblem. The RT also has the little vents on the hood. Now you might have noticed the wheels. They're called motor wheel. I just did my homework. It is a vintage wheel. It's not what came on the car originally, but they are vintage wheels. Just like the Pontiac honeycomb wheels, they're made by the same company. Uh, they got a poly cast. They're actually like a rubber on a steel rim. This is like a rubber material. But anyway, their vintage wheels are actually worth money. Uh, this one originally came with, I think, the Magnum Chrome wheels. That's what's on the window sticker. Uh, the door jams are really nice and clean and dry. Here's an old oil change sticker. The original weather strips are still in real nice shape. They're a little, little bit hard, but they're not cracked or broken. Uh, you did replace the sill plates. Tires have been replaced. So it is the original 440 motor and the problems just from sitting, the typical ones, he sent out the carburetor, paid like $350, they had the original four barrel professionally rebuilt. They did take the motor apart because it had a stuck valve. So the original heads were sent out and rebuilt. Um, new distributor with an uh, electronic ignition. The original distributor is in the trunk. Uh, new coil, new condenser. Uh, the original alternator was sent out, rebuilt and restored. The original radiator was sent out and recored. The heater core was replaced. The motor was painted when it was out. So the motor compartment, the engine bay is all original metal that's real clean. Interior is practically like new still. This tail panel is excellent shape. Bumper is real nice. So inside the trunk, clean, dry, original metal. The mat is original. It's a little stained and a little bit cracked, but there's a brand new mat, depending if you like new or if you want to keep it original, you got your choice. Underneath the mat is one of the original tires for a spare. The whole jack assembly is still mounted in place. It looks like new. It's the original weather strip. It still has the part number on it. Uh, you might have noticed there's also a brand new real nice car cover that goes with it. And then there's one more box that has a distributor, little miscellaneous parts that came off this car. The interior, like I said, is mint. It's got bucket seats. The cushion, the upholstery is excellent. Uh, the chrome trim, the backs of the seats are mint. The steering wheel, the horn ring just sparkles. Uh, so it has a new master cylinder, a new pump on the uh, windshield squirters. Batteries bolted down properly, has the disconnect switch. Original fender tag is right here. The little holder for the CERTA card, the warranty CERTA card is right here. And we have that card, it's in the uh, paperwork over there. New belts, new hoses. Uh, so he did a lot of this upgrading, or mechanical service I should say, but he really tried to retain the originality of the car. Headliners tight as a drum, not a mark on it. Visors look brand new, uh, but again, they're original. Carpet is excellent. He took the seat belts out and just soaked them in detergent and cleaned them. He has retractable seat belts here. Uh, the whole dash area is in really nice shape. It does have a vintage sun tachometer mounted to the dash and a Stuart Warner uh, gauge down below. Those are both vintage, probably been on there a long time. The inside metal is real nice. And look how all the chrome, it just sparkles. 
Uh, door panel's mint. It's nice and straight and flat. There's a few wrinkles around the armrest. Uh, dash pad is really nice. Inside the glove box is like new. Inside the glove box, maybe the dealer did it, but there's a tag riveted to the door to keep track of your oil changes. Two of them are filled out. I can't really read the date. So there you have it. You got a really nice Survivor uh, RT muscle car here. Complete owner history, documented. Nothing to apologize for on this one if you like a Survivor. They don't get much better than this. This car is 54 years old and it could compete with some of the freshly restored cars. So that's my opinion anyway. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and study all the pictures. It's also where you can uh, find plenty of ways to reach out to our salesmen. Uh, they will help answer the questions you may have. They can also help get it delivered. They can help with financing. It's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new one's posted. Thanks for watching.